Yeah. My name is Mrs. Johnson. I teach fourth grade reading and science. My class is going to be bringing you the announcements this week. On Monday for lunch, we're having green chili lime chicken. The word of the week is pelt. My frisky cat hid behind the couch and pounced on me as I walked by. The word of the week is out. Hey guys, I got something special for you this week. Um, actually, this week and every week from now till the end of the school year, we are gonna start collecting different food items to help provide meals for kids over the summer. Um, it's through China Spring Cares and it's a summer feeding program. Um, we're gonna have a different food item each week. So when you're at Walmart or HEB or Target, um, I want you to pick up a different snack and ask your parents if they can uh, buy one extra of something that they're buying um, to help provide meals for kids over the summer. This week, the meal is Pop-Tarts. So grab an extra box of toaster pastries or Pop-Tarts, something of that nature, and help feed a kid over the summer. Hey guys, here is this week's trivia answer. Remember the question was, when is Easter chosen? What is the date for Easter? It is not the third Sunday in April. It's actually, are you ready for this? It is the first Sunday after the first full moon after the spring equinox or the vernal equinox. So the first day of spring or the spring equinox was March 21st. The full moon was this Tuesday, April 4th, which makes, oh, it's not April 4th. April 11th. April 11th. And that makes Easter April 16th. So it's the first Sunday after the first full moon after the first um, day of spring. So it takes all three of those things. Here are the winners. What day is Easter? Easter this year? It is April 16th. How about we pick 16 names today? That sounds good. This is a hard question. Yeah. All right. It first one we got, Evan King says the date of Easter is on the first Sunday after the first full moon after the spring equinox. Good Perfect. job. Okay, let's go for a little one. Oh, here we go. Oh, not necessarily, Daniel. Sorry, buddy. <clears throat> It's not every Sunday after a full moon, because then we'd have a lot of Easter's. Yeah. Oh, three, in 325 CE, the Council of Nicaea established that Easter would be held on the first Sunday after the first full moon occurring on or after the vernal equinox. Great job, Ruth Schubert. Good job, Ruth. There's two. Here's another one. Um, Easter would be held on the first Sunday, yep. Uh, Dominic Carney. Good job, Dominic. I'm not looking. Here we go. We got another small one here. On the yep. first Sunday after the first full moon, Kennedy Tice. Good job, Kennedy. I think it's Kennedy Tice. Yeah. I didn't have Tice, but I think I know her writing. Caitlin Dickerson. Good job, Caitlin. Oh, this one's stuck underneath. Mm -hmm. Okay, let's pull it in. Kaysen Johnson with the right answer. Good job, Kaysen. Good job, Kaysen. I'm going deep here. Third Sunday in April. Sorry. That is not correct. All right. Ooh, a two-pager. <laughs> uh, Jenna Taylor. Good, Good job, job, Jenna. Jenna. <laughs> okay. Will McDonald. Good job, Will. Good job. Lauren Geek, catch me like a Pokemon. Well, I did, here you go, good answer, Lauren Geek. That one looks right, Sam Flores. Oh, got two there. Uh, Trace Bullock, good job. Man, you guys flipped up this answer pretty quick. It was a tough one too. Yeah, it was. First fun day, Augustine De Leon. Good job, Augie. Uh, we've got Abigail Ochoa. Good job. Check that up real good, Miss mm -hmm. Rena. Kylie Richardson. Good job. And I think this is our last, last one. one. Mm -hmm. Rayleigh Daniel. Um, I don't think I can take this one. No, we didn't sorry, take babe. the other one. Nope, sorry. All right, so we've got some winners. If I called your name and you had the right answer, come on down. There's no school on Friday because it's Good Friday. Happy Easter.